Hi there, my name is Trolls, and in this video, we're going to take a close look at our electric solo cello. This is actually the follow up to our electric solo violin, and both of them are utilizing our fusion modeling technologies, meaning that you can actually choose whether you want to use the best of physical modeling or you want to use the best of deep sampling or you want to use a combination of both. So, for example, with vibrato, you can either use to control that artificially or you can use deep sampling methods for it. And I'll demonstrate that in great lengths. So you can obviously hear it here on all the legatos. And before we get into things, let me just preface here that I've actually loaded the module that contains our master patch here that contains all the articulations loaded in advance. Obviously, we have individual NKIs. So if you don't want to load the legato or the short notes or dynamic bones, you can do that. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to load everything into RAM and you can also load or unload things here using the perch function um, but let me just show the UI here briefly we have an effects mixer here and this is awesome the electric solo cello and the violin for that matter as well really lends itself well to be baptized in effects it just gives that rock and roll vibe to the instrument that you won't find in this sort of classical version of it so we also have a legato pitch here and uh, you can do some cool things you can build an ensemble if you want to do that up to three different electric cellos we also have our artifacts here which are built-in x noises and small artifacts that will sort of create a little more lifelike sound but you can also control stuff like the speed of the legato in here as well and i should also say um speaking of the legato that this is actually a layered legato so for example if you play soft you get that portamento slurred effect if you played medium you'll sort of get a normal tempo and if you play hard on the keyboard you can actually do run building with it as well it's very intuitive layered that way and very very easy to use and let's just um, dive right into it here let me start with the sustained flat here meaning that this is a full form fusion model electric cello flat meaning that there's no vibrato in its core state but you can use physically model vibrato when you start moving your pitch bender to the sides uh, let me just give you a little taste here And you can probably hear in the very tail end of that, there's a little accentuation of vibrato there that I just added. But I'll play a little more here and I'll try to highlight the vibrato a little more so you can hear it in its full form. And as you can probably hear in the end, I'm going sort of in and out of the vibrato, so it's getting more intense as I move the pitch bender as well. And it's just a great, great way of really having full control over the vibrato. But let's say that you feel that you're not really feeling this type of vibrato. Well, we certainly have other options as well. Let me play you the sustained vibrato here, which has a naturally played vibrato in it. As you probably notice, there's a difference between the physically modeled type of vibrato and the natural vibrato here. And the feedback we've gotten over the years is that some people really love the model approach. You have more controllability, but other people really love the naturally played. This is obviously the player's individual vibrato you're hearing here. We also have a third category of vibrato actually, and it's called expressive here. So this is really a naturally played vibrato, but the player sort of goes into the note. So you're gonna hear a non-vibrato in the beginning, and then it sort of gently goes into it. And it's really best for softer melodies, for that more emotive type of scoring. And granted, this is still an electric cello, so uh, it has a different sound, but you, I think you're gonna feel it. So going from non-vibrato into the vibrato on the sustain. and it just oozes of the player. You can feel, hear the player, obviously, in that type of vibrato. We also have dynamic arc legatos here. These are great. We have two arcs, both a short and a long here. And uh, let me just demonstrate you here. You're gonna hear exactly what I mean. So you're gonna hear sort of an arcing motion, a little more um, mezzo piano to mezzo forte kind of arc. So there's a natural motion in the string, and it's just beautiful. And you can obviously use your CC controls here if you wanna sculpt the dynamics even more. And I personally prefer these type of legatos. You can just hear more of the player. It's very rare. Kind of imagine with samples uh, when you play very statically that no cello player would play a solo statically. They would be into it. They would go in and out of motions. 
and they will play around with dynamics even if they're told to play straight there's still going to be some level of interpretation and if you want an even longer arc you can use our long dynamic arc here and we also have a Mikado legato as well so essentially you have six different types of recorded legatos in the library that are also velocity based so when you hear me play soft for example it has that slurred quality to it we also have six different types of additional dynamic bowings. These are not legato, so you can play as many notes as you want on them. And uh, let me just try to demonstrate here. I'll play the long arc here. And first I'll play it without vibrato. And then I'm going to use our fusion model vibrato on top of that. You can actually control the vibrato while you're playing the arc as well. Another way of uh, having fun with the arcs as well is actually to sculpt them dynamically. Obviously, you can right click on almost every component in the library and assign it to your CC. The link here combines the vibrato with the dynamics here. And right now, you're going to hear me use a little bit of that. So it's going to be playing an arc here, but I'll use additional expressions. So it's not just that you can control the vibrato and the arc, but you can also sculpt even further by using dynamic principles on top of the very arc. So depending on what you really want to accentuate in the arc, you can sculpt that further. Let's move on to one of my favorite categories here, the short notes. Um, let me just play them all for you here. We did from Conlenio to Pizzicato to Bartok to Saltando, which is a new uh, articulation, which I've totally love. And then we got Spiccato and Staccato. But uh, yeah, let me just uh, let me play all of them, actually. that last one you probably noticed like some of these sound absolutely life sounding it's not just because they're velocity based or we have a wealth of round robin but it's also that we're using these small artifacts in the notes so you get this natural small things that obviously the electric instruments don't yield as many small impositions as their natural counterparts but even that said uh, once you apply these things here there's just a tremendous amount of life i think that last staccato almost sounded like it was legato based uh, let's move on here to this category here a special sustain starting with the harmonics and uh, i'll play all these guys here So you have the ultimate trill control as well. Uh, we also have a lovely, and this is a massive, I really can't demonstrate that because each of these banks here yield, and like each of these keys here is actually a different effects, but we have seven different core banks of effects and you can see how much they spanned over here. But uh, let me just play a couple of them here so you have a feeling for what they sound like. Thank <laughs> you. 
yeah, this is definitely the ultimate bank for the uber ambitious contemporary, ultra contemporary composer that's working on his new fascinating concerto. Uh, there's so many cool effects in here. There's just a wealth to go through. But before I wrap up the video, let me show you a couple of things that are extraordinarily cool about the library. The first one is our flow note technology. So it's not only that you have fusion modeled legato and vibrato and the ability to combine physical modeling with traditional deep sampling, but we also have our flow note technology on top of that, meaning that you can essentially just hold down a sustain pedal and play the same note multiple times, but get that natural up down bow stroke feeling in it. Let me just show you very quickly here. I'll be playing the same note and you can hear a subtle variation in it every time. And this is actually with legato as well. So as you can hear, I'm both combining fusion model legato together with our flow note repetition. And it's just an awesome thing. If you think about libraries in the past, you couldn't do that. You actually had to make a melodic variation for every note when you're using legato and the most common notion on the string is repeated notes up and down with the bow so it's kind of interesting how we've locked ourselves compositionally by the fact that we couldn't do repeated notes in legato for example for melody lines that we always had to go like and now you can actually do the repeated notes so it's just a really important feature if you think about the most basic fundamentals of string writing uh, let me also um, just show you another little trick here before we wrap it up let me go back here to our lovely saltando articulation here, and I'm gonna go over here to our short note options page here. And um, for this one right now, I have the ensemble turned on, so there's actually three cellos playing at the same time. You can uh, switch them off as well. Um, but um, right now, I'm just gonna use the ensemble function. It just gives a little more fatness to the whole thing. And then we have our flow note repeater here. So one thing is that you just heard me play the flow note sort of using legato fashion and sustains, but you can also do it with short notes. And in order to help you a little bit, you can actually choose the amount of repetitions you want. So if you want two notes, it's gonna sound like this. Or if you want three or four notes, you just essentially click on them like this. And of course you can use that for inarticulation. Let me just uh, try it here on this piccato as well. Mm -hmm. 